And a stunning case today that the government calls medical fraud, harrowing for children in 22 states, put through one dental procedure after another, even 16 root canals at one sitting. Today, the government slammed down on a chain of clinics, saying they used the children to bilk taxpayers. Here's Pierre Thomas. What you're about to see is disturbing. Four-year-old Miguel is restrained and strapped to a board in a dental office. This practice was part of what the government describes as an assembly line approach by a health care company where dollars apparently mattered more than children. This was a matter of profit over compassion. The government claims in many cases Small Smiles Dental Services, which has 68 clinics in 22 states, did procedures on children that were completely unnecessary, including removing teeth, x-rays, anesthesia, even root canals. A child had 16 baby root canals in one city. Now, I've had two root canals in my life, and I don't want to ever have another one. Whistleblowers from inside the company told ABC News it was all allegedly done to rip off taxpayers, to boost payments from Medicaid. They wanted us to tell parents that they needed services on teeth that were healthy. Today, company officials agreed to overhaul procedures, to more government oversight, and to pay $24 million to settle the allegations. But they admitted no wrongdoing. So we call the company to get answers. This is um, Pierre Thomas of ABC News. Is he not willing to take questions on camera? They refuse to talk. Tonight's Small Smiles remains open for business. <coughs> Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.